back to Branson, Missouri to my cooking nooks fed up, fast, easy, and delicious. I'm Christine Deaton and welcome back to our kitchen right here waiting for you guys because we missed you last week. I'm so sorry. Hey, we didn't have a cameraman with last week, so. Sorry you know, about that. That's all right. He had, he had to go back to Arizona, so here we are. And today we're celebrating my mom, Fran. Right here, this is my beautiful Happy mom, Fran. Happy birthday, Franos! Thank you. Thank you. It's actually, her birthday is on, what, Sunday, the 15th, but we're celebrating today. We have my daughter, Elizabeth, and my granddaughter, Bailey, with us today. I think my sister's going to pop in in a few minutes, but, okay, so what's on the menu today? Well, when I said to my mom, Mom, what would you like for your birthday meal? This is what she chose. Hot dogs. My, my mom loves hot dogs. And she wanted a German chocolate cake and red potato salad. So we did that. But I added a couple of other things for her. So I added, she wanted, she said, can you make that? You know when you go to New York, because we're from New York originally, they you go to the, the, the hot dog carts and they have kind of a, it's an oniony, and they call it an, a, a red onion sauce is what it's called. So guess what, mom? Woohoo! I made it. Woo! And let me tell you, it is so easy. It's so easy. So you, you slice onions. I'm telling everybody out there if you want to make this red sauce because it would it goes great on hot dogs, hamburgers. Oh, yeah. oh, I mean if you put it on a regular sandwich or something, it's so good. Okay, so all it is, seriously all it is is sliced onions, okay? And then you're gonna put a quarter of a cup of uh, brown sugar. We have ketchup, half a cup of ketchup. I put a little minced onion in there, salt, pepper, boom, done. That's it, that's the wow. whole recipe. Now, the New Yorkers, the guys at the stands, yeah. they put like some vinegar and they put uh, um, tomato paste and stuff. Ketchup has all that. So I use fast, easy, delicious. I use ketchup. Sounds it worked wonderful. perfectly. So that. there you go. Mom's got her her New York style uh, red onion sauce. So there there you go. Go. Now you have a you have a whole bowl. For <laughs> okay. Now this morning. So I got to tell you, Mom. This is what happened in the kitchen. Early this morning, I got up to make you a big fat pot of beans because beans and hot dogs, you know, yeah. they go together. Well, they're not done. So in my slow cooker, it's the slowest slow cooker in the whole country. So I said, all right, what do you do? So I went to my pantry and I had pork and beans. Good. So here's that. So what I did with the pork and beans to just kind of, you know, soup it up a little bit. I put some brown sugar in that and I put some Dijon mustard and it made it like a really delicious kind of a spicy, sweet oh, beans that to have on the side. Okay. We're going to do the German chocolate parfait in just a little bit, but right now, let's work on the red potato salad. First of all, how's everybody doing out there? Hey guys, we missed you last week. We really, really did, but here we are again. And you know, we got, we got a lot going on between now and the end of the year, so don't miss any of the episodes, any of the episodes. We've got great food coming up. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. So last night I made... Uh, probably about a dozen red potatoes, maybe a couple of inches. You know, they weren't the big giant ones, they're about this big. So I cooked them last night. You want things fast in the kitchen, right? So you do a little prep work. Always do prep work before, okay? Whether it's the night before or the early, whatever it is. It helps you out in the kitchen and then it's everything speedy. Okay, so I cut all my potatoes today and as you can see, guys, large dice. Okay, so there you go. So here's the sauce. Watch how easy this is. I have two cups of mayo. Two cups of mayo. Dump it all in. Don't lose. Don't waste any. Don't don't leave any in the bowl if you can help it. Get it all in your plate. I have a quarter of a cup of um, sweet relish. Don't use dill. Don't use the, the what is it, the dill relish? It's disgusting. Mm -hmm. not, not, in, not in a salad. Okay, not in a salad. Two tablespoons of sugar. Seems like a lot of sweet, but you mix it all in here, and then you put a little salt and pepper. It's actually quite delicious. Yes, it is. So easy. Mom, mom had this on the sh my show the last time I made this, and that's why she's like, 
can you take that potato salad? Um, so we have um, several people. Who's Good. out there? We got Mary Warden Good. Hi, She's Mary Warden Good. Happy birthday to sweet mom and grandson too. Thank you. Mary Halsey's with us. Hi, Mary She's Halsey. Good. I hear you got your cookbook in here. Yep. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> I'll tell you some stories about the cookbook in a few minutes. Uh, uh, Kristen Berry is with us. Hi, Kristen. How are you? <laughs> nice she to got have her you here. Also. Who is? Kristen got her cookbook also. Oh, good. I'm glad. I hope you guys really enjoy it. Today, this morning, it was really funny. Um, a friend of ours in Arizona ordered the cookbook. <laughs> and so she got in touch with my daughter, Emily, this morning. And she said, hey, i got to tell you a story about your mom's cookbook. So in their house, there's, there's like a multi-family that, you know, they live with her mom. And they, they have a gigantic house, a beautiful house. And so they all live there. And so they all share making dinner. So her hubby and her mom were saying, you know, I, we don't know what to make kind of a thing. So uh, uh, Nicolette said, go get Christine's cookbook. Oh, Nicolette? So last night, her hubby made my uh, chicken and dumplings and now her mom is it has chosen I don't know which recipe her mom has chosen but hey I'm dropping potatoes all over the place but I'm excited to say that people are using the cookbook they're great recipes oh, yeah. they're recipes that you've seen right here on the show so you're not going to be surprised by much but what you will see also in the cookbook is every single section whether it's a main dish a side dish whatever it is has um, like helpful hints and tips for the kitchen, all kinds of stuff. It's really cool. And then the back of the book has tons of stuff, information that you want for your kitchen and everything. So you gotta get the book. I'm telling you, it's a great deal. It's, and you get so much. It looks like a little book when you first get it. When you start going through those pages, there's a lot of stuff in there. So I'm very, very excited about it. And my response so far is is great i'm very excited about it that so thank you for all of you out there who have already ordered the book and you have time to order it if you want um to order it for a christmas gift for someone you got time to do it so um yvette's yes. also joining us Hi, yvette. and she says hello christine and family happy birthday fran thank you thank you mary morgan good said um, hi everybody glad your mom is back Thank you. Mackenzie's with us. She says, I'm here. Happy birthday, Fran. Love you. Thank you. Hi, Mac. Okay, Mom, here's your salad. Thank I you. am going to put a little uh, salt and pepper. Da, 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 da. You know I'm going to use a lot of salt. And I just put a little drop just because, you know, because you guys are going to be eating it. And I, I can't have the salt, but you guys can. So I'm just, there you go. Carol Boyer's watching. Hi, us. Carol Boyer. How are you, dear? is watching. Hello. Mabel Marchand says hi. Who's hey. that? Mabel Marchand. Hi Mabel, how are you? Welcome to the show. All right mom, here's that. <laughs> Done. There you go. What's Look how Mabel quick that was. <laughs> We've got lots of folks with us here today. Okay, We've got we said, uh, all the helpful hints in each chapter and at the back. Right? Of the book. And Mabel says how much is the book? Where do you order? Okay. So, why don't you explain how everybody can, while I'm getting these things put in bowls? Sure. Chris is going to tell you how to get the cookbook and how much it is, and we've got another, a, a book deal, and so just let him tell you about all that. We yeah. welcome you guys at this is your first time visiting. Yeah. Thank you, and if you visit, you're going to love it. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Uh, that includes taxes. There will be shipping additional depending on uh, where you live. The uh, amount of shipping may vary somewhat, but uh, there will be a, a small sh shipping charge. Um, so, again, mcnfedup.biz. So right. come out on my patio. So the event yeah. says back in the day on Green Avenue, we had six Greek hot dog vendors that rented out our garage to store Who's their carts. Oh, they did? They I worked in the Knickerbocker area. Best hot dogs ever. She loved them with sauerkraut. <laughs> we have a new person with us, Brianna Dillard. She says, hi, I'm new here. Hello, Brianna. Thank you so much for being here. And we're celebrating my mom's birthday today with the menu of hot dogs and red potato salad and a delicious wait till you see my german chocolate parfait dessert which mom wanted german chocolate so i've done a little something special with that let's go out to the patio where i'm going to cook some hot dogs come on me too you guys are welcome to sit here or come out right, whatever I'll you say want it's cold so i'll stay here <clears throat> okay guys so i'm going to respray my little grill here this is my patio thank you so much for being out here with me here in Branson, Missouri. It's okay. a bright, sunny, it's crisp bright day. Evening. It's nice it's out, yeah. Day. It's a gorgeous day. Elizabeth, would you go grab me a fork, please? Sure. Okay, so I want to show you guys that what I usually do, because it's easier for me when I'm fixing my hot dog, I like it kind of, I like it open. I split it down the middle, I like it open, so you can fill it with all kinds of stuff. So I always do hot dogs this way. And I'm going to do it long ways on the grill here. Crystal Squires is with us. Yes, hi Crystal, how are you? Oh. All right guys, it is sizzling now. Woohoo! Very exciting. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to grill these up and then I'm going to actually toast the buns, okay? Because I, want, I like that, I like a toasty bun. That's just my thing. You don't have to toast buns. I choose to toast, toast buns. <laughs> All right, but I am going to put, I'm going to start opening these up while these are cooking. I'm going to open these up and I want to go ahead and put the butter. I just have, it's just plain old melted butter, guys, okay? And I'm just going to butter the buns, butcher my buns. <laughs> anyway, did you, you told them all about the cookbook. I did. Yes. I told them all about the cookbook, but we didn't tell you about Again, the YouTube channel. The YouTube channel. Go hey, to we, we met, we YouTube. Met goal, by the way. We met our first goal. That. We are up over a hundred subscribers now, and that's so exciting. And that is the ground floor, as I said, towards the next goal of a thousand, and then ten, and then a hundred. And so we, you guys, are all in on the ground floor of something awesome there, and we appreciate that so very much. We love being here every Wednesday with you guys. We really, really do. And our viewership is growing and growing and growing. It has from the very beginning, it's, which is very exciting. That means people are liking what we're doing, and mm -hmm. they keep coming back, and it's really exciting. We have Amanda King Hi, Kogut Amanda. with us. Kogut with us. Yeah, Hi, welcome, Amanda. welcome, How welcome. How are you? Welcome. Thank you for being here today. So this is fed up, fast, easy, and delicious, and that's what I do. And for those of you who don't know me, um, I have a disease called Meniere's disease, and um, it, I, it, it's my equilibrium is off. You'll see me, I, I move a lot, <laughs> that's nothing I can help either. And so everything that I do has to be pretty fast. So through the years, I've had this a very, very long time, so through the years, I have had to learn to navigate, to you know, do everything a little quicker, a lot quicker than most people. And I apply that in my kitchen. And so the recipes that are in my new book are recipes that I literally have used and want to share with you guys and that are they're fast, easy, and delicious. And we have people already cooking the recipes and I'm very, very excited. Hey, and if you guys have bought a cookbook, if you don't mind, I want you to take a picture of yourself with the cookbook and send it to me and we post it on our website. So you guys be a part of the show and do that. All right, let's see how we're doing here. There was also the uh, special deal, book deal okay. that you offered yes. with your Kisses Look in the Snow pretty. book. That's okay, looking so good. in 2014, I wrote a book called Kisses in the Snow. It is based on a, a real little boy that I knew in my life. Um, a little boy that was um, actually born and put in the foster care system. Many, many, it's a long story about this little boy. And he 
it just broke my heart. And so I wrote this book, and you, you're just going to have to buy it and read it and see what the story is all about. I've had someone very recently say to me, I'm waiting for your sequel to Kisses in the Snow. I actually started writing the sequel a long time ago. I kind of haven't gotten back to that because in the meantime, I wrote another entire book. So I'm always doing something. I, I, like the creative part of my brain never stops. <laughs> Which, is that a good thing? That's a good thing, right? That's a good, That's a good thing. thing. Yeah. Hey, look at these hot dogs. They're looking beautiful. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move them all over to one side of my grill. And I'm going to put the buns. And then bring my, this all in the house. And then I'm going to put together the parfaits. Very excited about the parfaits. You have a request in there to burn one really good. <laughs> okay, mom wants my, well, this is her, this is her meal, and mom likes her hot dogs done. So, I will be making one very done for mom. Welcome to Morgan Williams, who's just joined us. Hello, Morgan. Thank you so much for being here. Hey, guys, we're here every Wednesday, 1 o'clock Central, right here, live on Facebook. We've been, this is our 42nd episode. And we have had an amazing response to our show. We have had, we have people from all over the world watching us, which is, how exciting is that? It's awesome. And so we're, we're very excited about that. And we have every intention of keep, to keep going. The next few weeks, you know, the holidays are here. I'm going to make some great soups and I'm going to show you a bunch of, um, desserts and things like that for, for Thanksgiving. You've got to stay tuned. You just got it. You just got to stay tuned. I'm telling you. So, um, and I've never made the same recipe twice. So there you go. That's a lot of recipes. Yvette was just saying that she likes her dogs grilled and buns toasted too. Okay. And then there you go. Mackenzie says um, that Kisses in the Snow is a great book. She's waiting for the sequel. You're too talented. And then Robert Sumter just joined us. Well, hello, Robert Sumter. You can come have a hot dog. We also have uh, Danielle Miller, who just joined in, hello, and Danielle. and David J. I believe it's maybe Lachey or Leish. I'm okay, not sure David, how to say that. how are you? Thank you for joining aboard. us today. Again, you guys, every Wednesday at 1, we're right here. We've done 42 prior episodes. Oh, this is number 42, this is correct? 42, yep. This is number 42. No rest, no, no meal, no uh, menu, I should say, has been the same. So every time you see me... You're going to have something totally different, and you got to buy the cookbook. you got to buy the cookbook. It's everything that I've done here, and then some, is in the cookbook. So Angela Forche just joined Hello, on. Angela. Hello, Thank Angela. Thank you so much for joining. <laughs> so great to see yes. so many people so, with us today. So awesome. Thank you so much. Hey, listen, we have a blast here every week. And we get really hungry. It's full of crazy people, which is so, so nice. Even if it's just you and I, it's Even full of crazy <laughs> people. <laughs> Even if it's just you and I. But we just, every week, I call it food, fun, and family. Food, fun, and friendship. Whatever you want to call it, it's right here. Every single Wednesday, we expect to see you guys. You're going to have fun, I can guarantee. Yes, ma'am. Who do you got? Uh, nothing. Okay. Mm -hmm. All righty. All right. Well, these are just about done. So I'm actually going to be filling some up, but I'm going to leave a hot dog cooking a little longer, a little bit longer. So Angela says, mom. hello, how are you guys? Looks so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Angela. Thank you. And then Carol just uh, said uh, she needs to get the sequel to Kisses in the Snow. I'm, I really am working on it. I promise, guys. <laughs> I have had my mom's friend Lois Mills has told me for years, I want to know what happens to that little boy. <laughs> 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 it is a great book. It's a very, it's a very touching it's a short story, but it is it is just it turned out to be just a beautiful story. You gotta you gotta read the book. So if you haven't gotten kisses in the snow, you can still go you can go to actually the cooking my cooking nook on the cookbook page, on the cookbook store page, and you can just you can there's a way there for you to get kisses in the snow. So Angela just said she is now following. Awesome. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank I, you. And Angela, we'll tell you, tell everybody again, too. We'd love for you to follow us on YouTube as well. Yes. If you go to my cooking nook channel on YouTube, 
like and subscribe there hit that notification bell so that we can uh, you'll know when we put new content up and yes. uh, we would love that join our community there as well that would be we awesome. have uh, we this, this show we started in January of this year and I cannot tell you how crazy this show has got that people literally all over the world are watching us so it's very exciting it's very exciting for us so every week that we come on there's more people and people from Canada and Ireland and I mean we've had uh, in India we've had China we've had we've had people all over the world who, who watch and constantly watch the show and new viewers all the time so everybody new out there yay thank you for joining so, us okay so uh jen bill says howdy howdy that's my sister yes. Say it um, where is so she angela's gonna go do that now okay um, yes to youtube thank we've got you. joshua adams here she says i miss you guys so much hey josh, hey, josh. Hey, josh. happy birthday to my little superhero Mikel <laughs> <laughs> montgrain says rhode island here first time watching yay awesome. thank Welcome. you rhode island hey we've got a lot of rhode island people and we have mary we do. To thank yep. for that. yes mary. we do Mary was actually featured on our show and she did a song and everything and we talked to her. A great lady. We really enjoyed having her. And she's got quite a, a you know, a viewership. She does. She's got she's a following. Brought, that brought, is, yeah, she's yeah. got a huge following. And she's brought a lot of people to us, which we love Mary for that. And thank you so much, my dear. And she's out there. Mary did buy a cookbook. She got, <laughs> she did. She got her cookbook. She got a cookbook. <clears throat> so there. Anyway, just go to YouTube. You can watch any one of 42. Well, 42 tonight. This is 42. But you can watch 41 episodes. Anytime you want, you're going to see 41 other kinds of menus and then a lot of those are in a brand new cookbook so it's just we love it we have fun and we love that you guys are joining us today okay mom your hot dog's coming in all right this one this one's the most done i've already shut the grill let's go in elizabeth if you can grab this stuff that would be great <laughs> okay we got hot dogs I want to make your dessert. Oh, okay. Let's do dessert. I'm very excited about this. So I asked mom, what do you want for dessert? She loves German chocolate cake. So by the way, mom, I made you a little German chocolate cake to take home. Oh. It's got caramel sauce and toasted coconut on top oh, of that. Oh, nice. So that, that's for you to take home. And I'll eat it. <laughs> and I know you guys see me going in the refrigerator and getting ice cream. It's, it's okay. We just took it out to defrost it just a little bit. So we want to make these desserts. So last night, remember to save time to make things fast, easy, and delicious. I made a German chocolate cake, okay? But I put it on a kind of a big pan so that I had kind of a flat cake, okay? And then I made, I cut out all these little cakes. Okay, see? Oh, I'm not so, now, oh, i got to get my cream out. Corrine, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't want to get it wrong, but Corrine Sizway, I believe it is, or Sizway, is with us. Hello, Corrine. Thank you for Corrine. being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my cooking nooks. Fed up, fast, easy, and delicious. Thank you guys for so, so much for being here. All right, so let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take one of my little cakes, and they fit perfectly. I'm so excited about that. The bottom of my little tiny parfait oh, cups. Nice. Okay, fit perfectly. Like, you know, I couldn't have planned that better. Okay, a scoop of ice cream. Mm -hmm. A scoop? Well, let's do a little more than a scoop. How's that? Oh, I think I've already done that. Okay. A scoop of ice cream. Some toasted coconut there. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love coconut. I always use Ziploc bags, guys, to ice things or, you know, to even if you're making like egg salad, tuna salad, and you want to be neat about it or, or little sandwiches and over, goodness gracious, use, use the Ziplocs, cut the tip, you've got a great little uh, bag that makes it so much easier to, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. Makes it so much easier, it really, really does. Okay. So now, whipped cream, whipped cream, whipped cream, toasted coconut. Mom, look at this. 
Oh, wow. Isn't that perfect? That is wonderful. Look, girls. That's my favorite. I, I love, love coconut. That. Now that look looks okay, so you're going to get the first dessert. So, <laughs> that's dessert. Okay, open this. Oh. That's, that's just a, because her birthday's not until the 15th. This is just a today gift. So, a free, a, a today gift. A today gift. A today gift. Oh. Woo! Oh. She gets a cookbook. Oh, thank you, and I've been <laughs> waiting. I've been waiting. Now, I, I, inside, oh. I wrote a little something to you, and I want you guys out there to know that Mom's got a couple of recipes, her own recipes, in the book. Oh. Yay, Mom. Elizabeth's got a recipe, mm -hmm. my daughter. Elizabeth's got a recipe in the book. So oh, I'm very, very Thank excited, you. very excited oh, about the morning book. one so bad. My sister's out there. She's got a recipe. All three of my daughters have recipes in the book. So it's a it's That's a great book. Said. you got to get it. Let's do it next to you. Okay. Page. <laughs> okay. Coconut. <clears throat> oh, this is beautiful. Thank you. So Joshua Please. Adam Sears says, wow. happy birthday, Franny, to um, Jessica, and I miss all of you. Well, we miss you, we guys, miss you too. guys, too. They need to somehow Over. come see Branson. Branson, Josh. Missouri, folks. If you've never been to Branson, Missouri, you, it's got to be on your to-do list, your bucket list. It is an amazing place. Oh, this is beautiful. It's, isn't, that, isn't that cool? Oh, it's wonderful. It's, there's about 100 theaters here, three to four shows a day in I every mean, theater. It's an amazing place. <laughs> You've got to come. I mean, my daughter Ashley was the first one to come here because she was in a show. And every one of us wound up moving here. <laughs> it is that, it's that amazing. It's just a wow. great, great community. It's just an amazing place. So come to Branson. Put it on your bucket list thing. Yeah, I'm telling you. All right, I'm going to make like two more of these to make sure everybody around here has it. But remember, it's just German chocolate on the bottom. Scoop of ice cream. Or so. And you can use and you can use whatever kind of ice cream. Today I'm using chocolate marshmallow. It's got almond pieces and yeah, it just seemed like it would go really well with this. Okay, coconut. <clears throat> Mackenzie says Branson is the best. Oh, Mackenzie loves Branson. And then Joshua says we will be coming to visit you guys. That is a definite must, and it will be more than once. You have lifetime friends in us. Well, I hope so. I miss everybody. I, it, you know, it's it's kind of. It's a wonderful Great. place here, but of course you miss your friends, you know? You mm -hmm. just do. You miss your friends. All right, guys, this is the last one I'm going to make of these. And then we're going to serve everything up so that you guys, I want you to see my mom eat her hot dog because she's so excited <laughs> about hot dogs. I love hot dogs. You know, I remember, Mom, I'm sure you remember when we lived on Green Avenue in yeah. Brooklyn, New York. That book is um, wonderful. You guys, I just want you to see my little... I just tasted it. I cheated. Is it Still good? Delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bailey Boo. Thank you. You're welcome, honey. And the spoons and stuff are up here, guys. Okay, so I remember when we were in Brooklyn, New York. Yes. Our, your grandmother, my great grandmother, yeah. lived like not close. She lived pretty far. She, 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 she lived did. in Brooklyn, but she lived far. Mm -hmm. And as old as she was, even back then, I don't know how old she was, probably 70s back then, which 70s back then was like really old. <laughs> 70s now, you're like, whoop, whoop. Yeah, I don't know about that, but oh, back yeah. then, <laughs> life and, and health and everything was very different. And so she would walk from her house, which was like near DeKalb Avenue, which is really far from really far. Green Avenue. She walked like almost every Saturday from her house all the way to our place in Brooklyn. And when she got there, I knew, I knew that I was going to have to take a trip down to Knickerbocker Avenue to the hot dog stand <laughs> because she wanted a hot dog. So I can't tell you how many times, how many weekends of my life I visited the hot dog guy on, the, on, on uh, Knickerbocker Avenue and we got her hot dogs she so i want to make a hot dog for you mom and grandma because you both liked it the same way yep. so i'm going to take the hot dog that was the crispiest right here and um you want mustard yeah, absolutely so i have regular mustard and i have like a dijon mustard what do you prefer 
Let me try the Dijon. I okay. A Dijon mustard has a little bit of wine and it's more like a, a mayonnaise-y um, uh, bottom. You know what I mean? Like, like yeah. the base of it. So it's a little different than a regular mustard. I like it better myself. Oh, okay. I like it better. So I'm going to leave that little, because somebody can use that one again. Anything else? You want ketchup? You want cheese? You want, you want relish? Oh. Or do you just want the onions? Yes. Okay. So onions here. So my grandmother, this is how she would eat her, is a little bit of mustard and then the red sauce from the guy at the stand in New York City. Okay. Oh, Mom, I'm going to take your plate. Let's you take your plate. Okay. And I'm going to put some potato salad on this too because you get the, you get the honorary plate today. So Good. You're the best one. <laughs> We, did we tell everybody how old you are? Is that okay if we of tell Of course, them? I'll be 81. Mom will be 81 on Sunday. Didn't she look great? Mm -hmm. 81. Mm -hmm. 81. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and I'm going to give you a little beans. Oh, wonderful. Okay. <clears throat> That's what the other bowl was for, for but I'm just going to put them right here. Oh, yeah. Right? I'm so ready. the parfait is delicious. It is delicious. <laughs> you ate it too? Yeah, you can't help it. it. Okay. Can't give me chocolate. Ooh. There's, there's <laughs> oh my God. your meal, and I want to see Mom taste her meal. All Let's right, see. Plano, enjoy. Mm -hmm. Oh, you make the best potato salad. <laughs> <laughs> I try, which by the way, the red potato salad is in the cookbook. So there you go. There you go. You can use your knife and cut it if you want. It makes it easier. It will make it easier, probably. Oh, and I use the ballpark all beef franks, Mom, so yeah. I know you like that better. <laughs> I, I do, you know, when I, I don't eat a lot of hot dogs, but when I do, it's a turkey. Yuck. You guys know I do turkey. No, they're good! <laughs> they're good! <laughs> oh, your meatballs are delicious. See? I Yes, they would be. I made turkey meatballs and spaghetti and sauce the other night. Oh my god. Okay, mm -hmm. you gotta tell the truth. Is it good? Wonderful. Okay. <laughs> yes, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, sir. I don't make those do that. <laughs> okay. I think that's the first time I've ever seen a hot dog make anyone cry. <laughs> <laughs> Today is also my little my little grandson Tobin's oh, his seventh birthday is actually today. So we're gonna sing happy birthday on the cake that I made you take home. Okay. We're gonna sing happy birthday to mom and to Tobin, okay? And we want everybody to sing really loud so we can hear you. <laughs> you this have to sing really, really loud when <laughs> Okay, so let's everybody, if you will. Join us in singing happy birthday to mom and Tobin, and then I'm going to let my family fix their plates, and uh, we love you guys, so sing with us. Here we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, mom and Tobin. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> yes. All right, guys. Let's Let's go back through what I made. And okay. I'll let you know we now have uh, Holly Sanchez with us hello, and Holly. Ashley Simpkins is with us. Well, as well, hello, Ashley. Thank you guys for being here. Thank let me go back through and show you what I made today. Okay, first of all, we grilled some hot dogs outside. Mm -hmm. We buttered the bun and we toasted them out there. And this is. Luckily, today was a perfect day for the for the grilling, or I would have done it in here. We always had to do it in here anyway. <laughs> then this is a red onion sauce. Oh, this is a red onion delicious. sauce that they make on the hot dog stands. We're from originally from Brooklyn, New York, and so they make this amazing red um, onion sauce that really is to die for. It's delicious. It's kind oh, of a it's sweet, it sour, absolutely and it's delicious. perfect on a hot dog. It's perfect. You could actually put this on a, on a hamburger. I say I eat it on turkey sandwiches. This would even be great on a turkey sandwich. Oh, anything. Red potato salad. Yeah, this was all mom's uh, <laughs> choice for her birthday today. So I made a red potato salad. Make your potatoes the day before, and it's just two cups of mayonnaise. It's a, it's a quarter cup of a um, sweet relish, sweet relish, 
and two tablespoons of sugar and you've got that. And then I made some beans. These are regular pork and beans that I add a little brown sugar mm -hmm. and a little Dijon mustard and you get a great, great kind of a twist on your pork and beans, okay? And then Delicious. we did our little German chocolate Delicious. ice cream parfaits. So I made German chocolate last night. I cut the little cakes just like this. See? <clears throat> they fit perfectly in the cups, which I was very excited about. We, I used a chocolate marshmallow with almond ice cream, whipped cream, toasted coconut, and you have an amazing German chocolate dessert. Okay? Now! Looks wonderful. Well, I'm gonna, yes. Yeah, I was just going to say, we've got uh, Courtney Lowry here with us as well. And let's see, there were some others that popped uh, Michael Montgrain. Well, hello, yeah. guys. Thank you so for we got us. lots of newbies here. We're so today. glad you're with us. Some, some recipes go really fast, and this actually went very, very quickly today. And sometimes, if I like next week, I'm making soup and, and like a really nice big menu. So that'll take me a little bit. So when you when you join us on Wednesdays, you could be here anywhere from 30 to 60 minutes. We love sharing our time with you. We have done, this is our 42nd show. We have viewers from all over the world now. We are doing great with the show. And we want to invite you every week at 1 o'clock Central, right here from Branson, Missouri. My Cooking Nook's fed up, fast, easy, and delicious. We love you guys. We'll see you next week. Thank you so much, and happy birthday to my mom! Thank you, Christy. <laughs>